Hi everyone, my name is Shelby Melto and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Springfield, Missouri with a weather briefing on the severe weather potential expected tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center has outlined areas along and east of Highway 65 in an enhanced risk and then areas west of 65 towards I-49 in a slight risk mainly for tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then with these storms, the main hazard would be large hail and damaging winds with some localized flooding possible, especially with those stronger storms that move through. So looking at the hazard outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center, this far left image here shows a 15 to 30 percent risk for hail, mainly following where that slight and enhanced risks were noted. And then you're also going to notice that the majority of the Missouri Ozarks, you know, Areas along and east of a Monette to Stockton to Clinton line are outlined in a hatched risk, meaning there's a higher potential for large or significant hail. So right now we're expecting large hail up to the size of tennis balls with those stronger storms. And then that middle image here shows the probability for damaging winds, which again shows a large portion of the Ozarks in a 15% risk in those yellow colors with south central Missouri up into central and eastern Missouri in that 30% risk, so those red colors there. So we're expecting damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour to also be a threat with these storms, you know, especially with those stronger storms that move through. And then finally, this far right image shows the tornado potential, and you'll see that areas along and east of Highway 65 are outlined in a 5% risk for to tornadoes, where you see those brown colors there. So with these storms, you know, we could see an isolated tornado or two. Um, however, the threat is lower compared to hail and damaging winds. Here's an estimated timeline for when we expect these storms to push through. And, you know, the important thing to remember is, you know, don't get too caught up with these exact cities listed here on the left. You know, these are more referencing the general areas around these specific cities that are listed. So, for example, you know, if you live in a town just outside of Nevada, you know, this top line would be a good estimate for the thunderstorms in your area. So you can see that for the majority of the Ozarks, you know, we're really looking at storms to begin tomorrow afternoon, you know, generally after that noon to 1 p.m. time frame and then persisting through the late evening. And then the best time for severe weather would be in this black outline here. So really talking about anywhere from 4 to 10 p.m. tomorrow afternoon and evening with the highest chances mainly along and south of I-44, you know, especially when you get into those areas that were outlined in that enhanced risk. So um, areas east of Highway 65 and then especially, you know, towards south central Missouri, that's where we're expecting, you know, the highest chances where you see these red uh, colors listed here. You know, it's extremely important to make sure you're preparing now ahead of these storms tomorrow. You know, this is a really great timeline with steps to take in order to be prepared in the event that you're hit with severe weather. And you can see in this red outline here, you know, since we're still a day away from this event, now is the time to adjust any plans you might have. Make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings, you know, whether that's from your phone, a NOAA weather radio, or a TV. And then also make sure you have a location to take shelter that's easily accessible in case you need to shelter from these storms. And then as we're updating our forecast leading up to tomorrow, you know, make sure you're staying up to date with the forecast so you know what to expect. So the main thing to take away here is that now is the time to prepare for these storms before we head into tomorrow. And then finally, just looking ahead to next week, just so that you're aware, the Storm Prediction Center has also outlined us in a 15% risk or a slight risk for next Thursday. So there will be additional chances for strong to severe storms, you know, especially for western Missouri and then further west into Kansas. Now, being this far out, there is still a lot of uncertainty, you know, regarding the exact timing, location, and hazards to expect. So make sure you're continuing to monitor the forecast as we get closer to this time frame. So that concludes this briefing, but we wanted to leave you with our social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as our website URL to get updated on the latest forecast information. And then our contact information is also included where you can directly contact our office here if you have any questions. So thank you for watching and make sure you remain weather aware as we get ready to head into tomorrow.